Good afternoon. We are on Friday, the 25th of October 2024. The time is 12.26. I'm still preparing to go to my hometown, but I must record before I leave. I'm going to record now Wednesday's recordings for the 23rd of October. I'm going to begin with just a brief prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me, and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us, work in us with your gifts, so that your presence may be shown and we may serve in different ways for the good of all. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thy prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And we pray for our faithful departed. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The liturgical readings for the 23rd of October 2024, Wednesday week 29, in ordinary time, cycle 2, or de actually year 2, and it was the memorial of St. John Capistrano, Franciscan priest and preacher who died in 1456. The first reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 2 to 12. The mystery of Christ has now been revealed means that pagans now share the same inheritance. You have probably heard how I have been entrusted by God with the grace he meant for you and that it was by a revelation that I was given the knowledge of the mystery as I have just described it very shortly. Jesus said, Believe in me and you will see the glory of God. If you read my word, you will have some idea of the depths that I see in the mystery of Christ. This that has now been revealed through the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets was unknown to any men in past generations it means that pagans now share the same inheritance, that they are parts of the same body, and that the same promise has been made to them in Jesus Christ through the gospel. I have been made the servant of that gospel by a gift of grace from God, who gave it to me by his own power. I, who am less than the least of all the saints, have been entrusted with this special grace, not only of proclaiming to the pagans the infinite treasure of Christ, but also of explaining how the mystery is to be dispensed. Through all the ages, this has been kept hidden in God, 
the creator of everything. Why? So that the sovereignties and powers should learn only now, through the church, how comprehensive God's wisdom really is, exactly according to the plan which he had had from all eternity. In Christ Jesus our Lord. This is why we are bold enough to approach God in complete confidence through our faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 12, based on Isaiah 12. And your response and mine will be, With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear, for the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Sing a psalm to the Lord. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. For he has done glorious deeds, made them known to all the earth. People of Zion sing and shout for joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. The Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake and stand ready because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 12, verses 39 to 48. Glory to you, O Lord. When a man has had a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. Jesus said to his disciples, you may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, do you mean this parable for us or for everyone? The Lord replied, What sort of steward then is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time? Happy that servant if his master's arrival finds him at this employment, I tell you truly, he will place him over everything he owns. 
But as for the servant who says to himself, My master is taking his time coming, and sets about beating the men servants and the maids, and eating and drinking and getting drunk, his master will come on a day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the unfaithful. The servant who knows what his master wants, but has not even started to carry out those wishes, will receive very many strokes of the lash. The one who did not know, but deserves to be beaten for what he has done, will receive fewer strokes. When a man has had a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. When a man has had a great deal given him on trust, even more will be expected of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we'll reflect briefly on Luke 12, verses 39 to 48. A section of today's Gospel reading seems to be addressed to those who have positions of leadership in the church. They are stewards who are respon whose responsibility is to give those in God's household their allowance of food at the proper time. This could be understood as both material and spiritual food. If they abuse their authority, there will be serious consequences for them. In one of his letters, St. Paul declares, Think of us in this way, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. 1 Corinthians 4, 1-2 and in today's first reading, we find Paul exercising his stewardship of God's mysteries. He refers to the depths that I see in the mystery of God. He succinctly expresses this mystery as the infinite treasure of Christ. Paul is reminding us that there are depths to the gospel which we will never fully explore in this earthly life. There is a treasure here which is infinite and can never be fully exhausted on this side of eternity. In his first letter to the Corinthians, Paul refers to Christ as the wisdom of God for verses 1 to 2. In our reading, he wonders at how comprehensive God's wisdom really is. There is a wonderful treasure here, and to some extent every member of the church is a steward of this treasure. We are asked to value the infinite treasure of Christ above all earthly treasure by being attentive and alert to the presence of Christ in our lives, our church and our world. In the words of the Gospel reading, we are to stand ready for his coming, not just his coming at the end of time, or at the end of our lives, but his daily coming throughout our lives. So now I'm going to share just a brief final prayer, because I'm conscious of how much time I have to do these recordings today, because I need to be somewhere else. 
So after reading sacred scripture, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, guide us, work in us with your gifts so that your presence may be shown and we may serve in different ways for the good of all. Amen. A Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, you alone search out everything, even the depths of God's intentions. Remain with us always that we may know all that God has freely bestowed on us that we may rightly judge and value all things. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing and commenting. And have a wonderful, holy, happy, joyful weekend. Bye-bye. God bless.